Hello everyone, welcome to this bonus edition of Harp Tuesday, and today I'm going to be talking about setting up your computer for Skype lessons. I've been doing Skype lessons for a while now, and they're a lot of fun, and it's surprising how easily you forget you're, that you're not in the same room together. And of course, they're, they're very convenient, uh, and oftentimes you might be in a situation where maybe there's not even a Harp teacher in your area. And Skype can be a, a great way to have anywhere from weekly lessons to a to an occasional checkup, or or if you're working on a particular piece, for example, that maybe you just want some want an extra set of ears to listen to. So I thought I would just do a quick run through on what you need in order to to try Skype lessons. And I got this little cheat sheet here. First, there's the hardware. Obviously, you need a computing device. So whether that's a desktop, a laptop, a tablet, but chances are, if you're watching this you have that, so we can safely assume that that's fine. Then you will need a webcam. Now, typically these days most um, uh, laptops and tablets will come with a built-in web camera, but they might not, and of course the desktop doesn't. Also, sometimes the quality of the camera may be fairly poor, uh, and a quick way to check that is just to find out what the megapixels are and for example it might be like 0.3 megapixels whereas the web camera that I'm using right now uh, has software enhanced to uh, 10 megapixels so that's not exactly accurate but you can see that's quite a quite a big difference so you may need an or may want to get an external webcam which is something like this um, this is a little Logitech webcam and uh, 2 megapixels and um, of course, there's lots of options out there. You can do some shopping around, and uh, you know most of them are going to work fine, right? This is this one, little lo little Logitech one. That's the first one I used. It works worked fine. Uh, I eventually got a a better one on sale, and um, it's Logitech as well. But uh, you know any of these webcams should work fine, and they're they're pretty easy. You just uh, for the most part, can uh, plug them into your, your USB port and you're ready to go. You may want to install the s device software as well, which can let you tweak some of the options. But that should be should be pretty painless. Um, and again, like you might be able to get an external webcam from for as low as twenty dollars. Then headphones and speakers, because you're going to need a way to hear what's happening. Y you can use the speakers. I would suggest not using a built-in speakers on, say, a laptop or a um, tablet, because often they're pretty bad quality. And in fact, I would suggest not using speakers at all. I would use uh, headphones, a headset. And what I do is I use the... Um, I'm sorry if the audio is going a little wonky. Uh, I use the left ear with a headset, and then the right ear is able to be next to the harp and hearing what I'm doing. So. The reason I would suggest using a headset is it's just, I think, a little safer in terms of being clear, and uh, you're you're gonna it gives you the best chance of hearing what the other person is saying or or what they're playing. And the other advantage of it is that there's no risk of feedback because sometimes with external speakers, I might say something, and then I hear it coming back because it's coming out of your external speakers, and your microphone's picking it up. So. Uh, again, you, you can use speakers, I know a number of people do, but I would suggest trying out headphones. And again, you can get a cheap set for, I don't know, $10 will probably get you something that would be, that'll work, so. Um, optional, external microphone. So you can use the built-in microphone on your webcam. You probably don't want to use the micro. I'm using this microphone on this headset right now, but you're wanting something that's going to pick up the the harp as well, sort of a larger thing, and uh, so you could use your your webcam microphone. You might, if you're doing a lot of skyping, think about picking up an external microphone, so something like this hulking thing, which is um, it's a blue, blue Yeti USB mic, uh, just to help improve the quality because obviously the microphone in a in a webcam is not necessarily the best but it's it's fine to get an idea of whether this works 
Um, it's just something that eventually you might want to consider picking up an external microphone. So there's the hardware. Then of course you will need an internet connection, which again I, I assume you probably have if you're watching this. Uh, with that you're concerned not only with the download speed, but also with your upload speed. In other words, not only the speed that you can receive information from the internet, but the speed that you can send information through the internet. And typically that's going to be much slower. For example, I have a fairly fast download speed, but I don't have the, the greatest upload speed here. So uh, you need a reasonably fast internet connection, but again, you can you can we install Skype and just test it out and see see what sort of results you're getting. And and if you're watching YouTube, there's a good chance that your internet connection is going to be good enough. So then we need the software and for these video calls, and I suggest Skype. It's free. It, it, a lot of people have it, um, and it works well. So uh, it's also available f both for PC and for Mac. So you would um, you would go to. Oops, sorry, I didn't have this quite ready. You would go to Skype.com and you know get Skype, Windows or Mac, whatever it is, um, Linux, and you'll be able to download it. And then once you've downloaded it, it will uh, probably end up in. Um, well, it just depends on on your setup. But I if you're on Windows, it'll probably end up on Downloads. And here we are, Skype setup. So we would. I'm just going to run it as, as administrator to avoid any annoying um, messages. So here we are, Skype, not far away, select your languages. I agree. Next, so you just follow the follow the instructions here. Um, I already have the latest version of Skype, so I'm just going to say cancel. But uh, again, you're going to download this. You're going to either double click it, which will get you might get you the security warning, or just right click and say run as, as, as administrator, and just follow the directions, and that will get Skype installed. So you will need a, a, a login, and when you launch Skype for the first time, it will give you the option of creating an account. And so then once you create an account, you can sign in. And I just wanted to look at a couple things here. So you can go. You'll want to go up to Tools and Options. And I'll move this out of the way of my webcam. Uh, maybe down here. And specifically, you're going to want to look at Audio Settings. So you're going to choose your microphone. Uh, let's get this in there. You might have a drop down. Some possibilities of various microphones. Uh, you probably won't need to tweak with this. Uh, I'm running some some drivers for. Uh, a sound card that Windows 7 doesn't get along with very well, so that's why I've got all these things. But you probably whatever you have there, whatever comes up, will be what you want. And then video settings. So of course you want to have your webcam plugged in, and I can't use it right now because I'm using my webcam to record the, record this right now. But again, you can select some sort of capture ability, and you should be able to see then yourself there and say hi, oh, how's my hair, and and, and check that out. And webcam settings would let you um, zoom in or out and stuff like that. So again, if if it's if your webcam isn't showing up, check to see if it's not list. If if maybe you've selected something else and you can select it here, or if you're having problems with audio, check to make sure that you have the right microphone or possibly the right speakers. So we'll just save that. And now you can go ahead and use this Echo sound test service, which should be under your contacts. So we're going to call. Oh, we get this cool little sound Hello, going. welcome to Skype call testing we'll service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Hello, hello, hello. Testing Skype. Hello, how are you? Does this work? I'm going to hear my voice. So you can leave a little message, and I'm just going to move this so that we can see. Hello, hello, hello. If you are able to hear your own voice, then you have configured Skype correctly. If you hear this message... 
Oh, and look at that. Hold on. I'm probably going to call locate. I'm actually uploading something right now, so my internet connection is not the fastest. As I mentioned, my upload speed isn't, isn't that great. So hopefully, of course, you don't he see that happen. If you do, that means that perhaps there's um, a problem with your the speed of your uh, internet connection. But you can try it again, so that is um, that's a great way to just automatically check things out. And where is my little cheat sheet? Then I would suggest, once you've got that all set up, see if you have a friend who has Skype or is willing to in install it, and test that out with them, and, and test to see whether, y you know, whether you can um, not only hear the voice, but also whether it works with the harp as well. And then you're all set. So I hope this was useful, and um, well, I can't say see you in two weeks' time, because this is sort of a one-off, but I guess I will end with cheers. Bye for now.